Hello and welcome to Monster of the Week. We are here and we're going to be trying to uh, do a little Monster of the Week RPG campaign. That's this book. So it's a very interesting game. I had the opportunity to play in a game that was masterfully run um, on Juice's channel by Colin Namakon. And uh, now I'm going to give my chance to be the keeper of Monsters and Mysteries. So let's introduce the people that are going to be playing in this game. To my left, um, JR, go ahead and introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about the character that you've chosen to play. Hello, my name is JR. Uh, I'll be playing the character John Johnson, the professional. A uh, little bit about him. Uh, he works for a big pharma company. Their main role on the surface would be uh, looking into the paranormal as health benefits for your average man. But what they don't give to the public that underneath they're actually aiming to get certain um, abilities to sell to the military and such. Nice. Chock full of conspiracy theories already. Yes. Fantastic. All right, and to JR's left is Christina. Go ahead and tell us about yourself and your character. Hi, I'm Christina. I am playing as Sarah Winifred the Spooky. Uh, I am a 30-year-old female who's basically a normal person with some spooky powers. Um, and that's really all I got for you guys right now. Like. I'm just a normal person, but... Fantastic. All right, and to her left, Liam, go ahead and tell us about your character. Hi, I'm uh, Liam. I'm playing Ryder Clancy, the Monstrous. Uh, he is was an average man. Now he is part zombie. Uh, as long as his hunger is taken care of, he's in control. But once that hunger uh, begins to take over his body, he goes full Romero. Nice. Excellent reference. All right, across the table from those three, um, Adam, go ahead and introduce yourself and your character. Uh, my name is Adam. Uh, my character's name is Mortimer, no last name. You could call me Mort or Morty for short. <laughs> Mort or Morty for the, for the more friendly folk. Mortimer for the the you know the subordinates and such. Um, my character is the expert, um, so they are just kind of a all-around smart person, uh, allegedly. Uh, we'll see how that plays out. Um, but yeah, we'll just kind of see how it goes from there and all that. So, but they're, yeah, they are a, they've got a bunch of stuff up their sleeve and we'll see how that goes. Excellent. And last, Marie, go ahead and tell us about your character. All right, hi, my name is Marie. Um, my character is Vivian Rain, or Vivi for short, and I am the Chosen. Um, supposedly I'm supposed to save the world, that was in the description, but um, other than being young and wearing casual clothes, I haven't really figured this out yet, so. <laughs> Excellent. Well, <laughs> this game is, is interesting for a lot of reasons, and one of the reasons is the actual process that we're going to go through. So you guys all chose playbooks that, that were of interest to you, and, and by the way, we, we use both books as options, I guess. but. Um, but you guys chose these playbooks and um, didn't cheat and tell each other what you were going to choose until after you chose it, which is kind of cool. But there's a next step, which is part of this process as well, which involves history. So one of the things that I liked about this game is that they have a, a, a system that you guys go through where you actually choose kind of um, different elements of shared history so that uh, before you even play in the first adventure, you, you actually have some connections between your characters. The reason why I like this is because as a game master, it makes everything so much easier because now I don't have to start you guys off like, you know, in a D&D game, we're like, all right, you're in a tavern and you meet this new person. So you're gonna know each other when we start the game, which is awesome. But let's do this process. So according to the book, um, when everyone has introduced their hunters, you'll each take another turn, this time picking history and that's significant shared memories or relationships between the hunters. Each playbook has a list to choose from. So when you look at your playbooks, your character sheets, you have some options. So we're gonna, again, go around in the same order and we're gonna do two of these rounds. So um, we'll start with you, JR. What's one history that you'd like to use and who are you gonna connect it to? I will start with, um, they pulled you and maybe your team out of a terrible foobar mission. I'm gonna pair that with Marie and her chosen. Nice, okay. So um, you have a note about that. 
you might want to make a note about that because later on down the line, maybe that's going to bring up something in, in a future game. Somehow that'll connect to the story. All right, Christina, you're up. So I am actually going to be paired with Marie as well, and we are going to be cousins. Oh, nice. Mm, a little nice. family sesh going the on. The Chosen and the Spooky. So that, that family must have something going on mm -hmm. in their bloodlines. All right, cool. Liam. Uh, I'm going to pair with JR, where they are tied to my curse of origin uh, because they work for Big Pharma and they're working on um, you know, medical things that help people and give them abilities. And so it feels like that fits. That's got some very like, Resident Evil vibes yeah. right now. That's what I'm, I'm feeling like. You you work for Umbrella, yeah. and, you know, like, and he's like one of the oops, we yeah. made a mistake. All right, cool. That's cool. Uh, Adam, I'm going to be paired with Christina. Um, they once helped me get a singular item that is now part of my haven, um, and it is a glass obelisk that you don't know what it's for, but you helped me get it. Hmm. Okay. Cool. So the spooky maybe knew that this was something special but didn't know exactly what it did and then just handed it over to the expert to yeah. research it yeah oh, that's cool i can see that okay. working out paul all right uh, marie all right i am going to pair with adam um arrival at first but you came to a working arrangement um so adam's character has a lot of knowledge specifically mm. weaknesses and habits so I think he probably knows something about me. Excellent. I like that. Sets up a little tension. OK, cool. So for the second round, you're going to pick another history, but you have to pick a different person. So um, back to you, Jer. All right, I think I will go with, I'm going to go with, uh, they're on the agency's watch list, and you've been keeping an eye on them. I'm going to pair that with Christina and her spooky. Nice. Ooh. Well done. Well played. I like that. Ooh. Okay, Christina, you're up. Uh, so my second history is going to be with Adam. Uh, and he taught me to control my powers and to the extent that I can tr control them at all. So nice. he helped me. Uh, I, I helped him. He helped me. Class okay, so. cool. Yes. All right, Liam. Uh, I'm going to pair up with Marie and say I lost control one time and almost killed them. And <laughs> this is to ask them how they stopped you. Oh, how did you stop the half zombie from eating you? TBD. <laughs> <laughs> to be determined. All right. Okay, fair enough. We'll, we'll have a little bit of downtime before the first uh, adventure. All right, so um, Adam, second choice. Um... Liam is a distant relation to me, and I have to tell him exactly how. Our parents worked at the same company together, so we were kind of that, like, not friends, but, like, you were kind of paired up when you were really little because, like, my dad worked with his dad. Um, so we kind of have that, like, relationship where it's And you like, called hey, his it's... dad Uncle Frank, yes. even though he wasn't really <laughs> an uncle. <laughs> yeah. I had lots of those uncles. You know, uncle and, Frank? and he was, like, a sales guy, and he was always, like, really pushy and really talky, you know? So, like, um, yeah. So we're distant relations, you know? Okay. All right. Solid. Marie, your last one up. All right. I'm going to pair with JR. So we're just friends from school or work or something. So I'm supposed to ask, ask you what? How old are you? <laughs> How old are you? Because uh, I'm like going on middle age, man, like 40, 50. I'm young. Uh, maybe <laughs> relative friend, friend of the family, maybe? Uh, maybe. Was I your teacher at some point? <laughs> Tutor after school. Yeah. Mentor. What, what about, um, what about like intern? Like maybe you interned at the big pharma company? And he was like the only person that was nice to you or something? I kind of like that. All right. All right. Friend from work. Friend from work. <laughs> friend from work. Former <laughs> friend from work. That way she's not actually working for Big Pharma, you know, but she's like the summer intern. Okay. Cool. Getting All right. coffee and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Coffee, bagels, you know, that kind of stuff. All right. So from here, we're going to take a, a short break to kind of just iron out how all these things work, take a few more notes, and then when we come back, we're gonna play the first adventure 
in this show. So stick around, we'll be right back. Hello and welcome to Bill Allen World. I am Wizzy the Wizard. I'm back once again to remind you to subscribe and click on the notifications button and also watch videos that are over there. Tune in to the next episode of whatever show you are just watching and watch other shows featuring Bill. He made me say that because he's a narcissist. Okay, bye.